Let me ask you all a quick question. When you think of the word burger, what's the first word that comes to mind? Delicious, cheesy, meaty, American? You may think of all of these except for one word, healthy. Well, I'm about to change all of that today with my new recipe. Hey guys, it's your boy, Fit Haxter here, back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all an awesome recipe for this iconic American classic that is not only juicy, meaty, and cheesy, but also high in protein, lower in calories, and highly customizable. So you can modify this recipe however you want and to your heart's desire. I feel that this recipe is so good that I'm gonna be comparing it to one of the top dogs out there, Five Guys. So make sure y'all watch to the end and stay tuned for that. And one more thing before we start, if you enjoy this video or found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so y'all can support me and I can keep pumping out new and amazing content for all of y'all out there. Don't forget to follow me on the social media, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, now that we're done with the intro, let's get on to the recipe. For the main components of this recipe, you are going to be needing half a pound or 227 grams of 96% lean ground beef, low calorie burger buns, about 130 calories per bun, three tablespoons of fat-free mayo, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, paprika, cayenne pepper, sugar-free ketchup, lettuce, tomato, and pickle. And one more thing, you are going to be needing some fat-free cheese singles. Also, keep in mind that you can customize your burger in any way you want. So if you don't like some toppings or you want to add a few toppings, you can take away or add on whatever you want to your heart's desire. Just make sure to account for the extra calories and added macros in the recipe whenever you're calculating it later on. Anyways, now that we've got the ingredients, let's make this thing. First, I took out all of my ingredients and laid them out on a table so they can be easily accessed. Next, I began to prep the burger sauce. So get a tablespoon or about 16 grams each of sugar-free ketchup and fat-free mayo and mix them together in a bowl until everything is evenly combined. Next, I took my ground beef and weighed it out. Now, this step is important. I weighed out about two tablespoons or 32 grams of fat-free mayo and added it to the ground beef. This will create some much needed moisture in our burgers and will ensure that each bite is full of tender, juicy goodness. After that, I added some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and a dash of cayenne pepper to the mix to give our burger some much needed flavor. Once that's done, I began to mix the ground beef together, making sure the spices, mayo, and everything else was evenly combined. I use my hands, but you can wear gloves or mix it up however you want. It's up to you. Get out a pan, spray it with cooking spray, and let it preheat on high heat. Next, get your buns and plop them onto the pan to let them toast. Keep in mind, this step is completely optional. I just like my buns toasted, so if you do, then do this. Once your buns are toasted, it'll take about one to two minutes. Set them aside on a plate. Next, get your beef mixture and split it up into two portions like so. Make your patties into balls and plop them onto the pan. Use a spatula to flatten out your patties like so. Once they've been sizzling for about four to five minutes, go ahead and flip those bad boys over. Continue to cook on the other side for about four minutes. Once the four minutes is up, 
Get your slice of cheese and place it on top of one of the patties. Then place the other patty on top of the cheese and let the cheese melt. I covered mine for a bit so the cheese could melt a little bit quicker. Once the cheese is melted, turn off the stove and set your patties aside to let them cool. Now let's build our burger. First get your bottom bun and some of your burger sauce and spread the sauce on the bun. Next, place your patties on top of the sauce and top of the patties with any topping you like. I chose lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles. And you're done. Enjoy your anabolic Five Guys burger. All right, so after some thumbnail picture taking, setting everything up, getting the perfect camera angle, we finally have our burgers so they're a little bit cold but it doesn't really matter because they're gonna taste good anyways I feel that my burger is so good that it can be compared to a restaurant's burger so I've got a five guys burger right here and we're gonna be comparing it in terms of taste to my healthier burger so anyways up first we have the healthy burger looking cheesy looking meaty looking delicious everything you want in a burger. So without further ado, let's dig in. Hmm. It's moist, it's juicy, it's cheesy, basically everything you'd want in a burger. And if you came up to me, gave this to me, and didn't tell me that it was healthy or anything like that, I would think that this was just like a regular burger and a good one at that. And I'd be pretty really surprised if you told me it was healthy because it doesn't taste healthy at all. This is, this is amazing actually. So now that we know that my healthy burger is super good, let's compare it to Five Guys Burger. Okay. Um, aesthetic wise, uh, doesn't look too bad. I mean, looks like an average burger. So, let's see how the taste is compared to my burger. Hmm. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all here. The Five Guys Burger tastes just a little bit better. Just a little bit. But whenever you compare it in terms of taste and macros, it's pretty obvious which one takes the anabolic cake. Which reminds me, I haven't told y'all about the macros for this recipe. So, for this entire recipe, excluding the toppings we put on, which are the lettuce, tomato, and pickles, which are very low calorie to begin with, so they really won't make that much of a difference, but you should still calculate them into the whole recipe but I didn't just so I could give you an average for the base burger so you can add whatever you want to it later on. We're looking at 475 calories, 12 grams of fat, 34 grams of carbs, and 58 grams of protein. Now, having those good macros for this little calories and for this good tasting food, I mean, it's a win-win situation. I always say that in my videos, but I'm being honest. To me, it's a win-win situation here. You get to eat good food like this, continue to lose weight, build muscle, build lean body mass, whatever you want, body recomp, and you're not depriving yourself on a diet like this. See, on my diet, I get to eat good food like this, and I don't have to worry about binging or cheating. I don't have to worry about it as much because I'm basically eating these unhealthy foods, but I'm just making better and healthier versions of them. So it's just about getting creative in the kitchen, finding new ways to make recipes, lower calorie, more anabolic, higher in protein, and that's basically it. So anyways, I highly suggest that you try this recipe out for yourself. This is amazing. Whenever I stop recording here, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna finish it.
But for this one, um, well, I mean, I'll just let someone else eat it. I'm not gonna eat it because it's too much calories for me, being honest. But this one here, I'm gonna eat all of it. So anyways, that's enough talk. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment anything down below in the comment section for that YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to support me and turn on that notification bell in order to be alerted whenever I upload new and amazing content for all of y'all out there. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making this and I'm certainly going to enjoy this burger after I'm done filming. It's been a long day. If you couldn't tell, I'm a bit tired. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.